Hello, it's Keith from Amp Publishing, and today I'm going to review a brand new sketch um, video, a video sketch software uh, called Doodly. Now, if you're not familiar with the sketch programs, I'm sure you've seen them all before. It's uh, kind of where the hand comes out and basically writes, um, you know, whatever text or draws pictures of, of uh, basically some assets that you drop onto your videos, right? So it's kind of like a slide presentation. There may be some music behind it, um, some sound effects and whatnot. Um, so I've I've played uh, played around with a couple other uh, pieces of software out there that do the same thing, um, and really out of all of them, I, I really like this one. It's it's really it's very simple to use, um, and also I just like how how smooth the software actually runs. Um, it is a desktop uh, application, uh, but it's available for both Mac and PC. Um, but it, it just it's not clunky I find a lot of these video especially when you're dealing with video um, things tend to run slow or kind of choppy uh, this one's actually very very smooth uh, and I'll show you that here in in just a second now um, I'm sure you've seen these sketch videos around before. Um, they, you know, they, they work. Uh, they're they're very eye catching. You can get very creative with them. Um, you know, they and they just convert. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically get into this right now and kind of show you what uh, what Doodly has to offer. All right. When you first load up Doodly, you're going to see um, a dashboard here. Um, it'll have all of your uh, your Doodlies there. You can edit, delete, you know, do do kind of the basics that you can do on all dashboards. Uh, but let's go ahead and create a new one. Now you're going to get a choice here between whiteboard and blackboard. Uh, this is kind of one of the features that uh, you don't really see in other software like this. Um, you know, you can take an existing um, you know sketch uh, animation that you've already created and just you can switch it right on the fly. So uh, you know the entire animation, if you select um, you know whiteboard to begin with. Uh, then create it and want to switch it. You just simply hit Blackboard and it'll change all the animations and flip them. I'll show you what that looks like uh, inside the app here, but that's kind of a cool feature. Um, so let's just name this demo and create it. Okay, so this is our our editing area. Now I have this shrunk down pretty small. Obviously, we'd probably want to have it a little bit larger uh, if you're working on it. Um, so what you're going to see is you're going to have a bunch of, uh, of, of um, sketches and animations to choose from. Now these are all pre-built animations. Um, you're going to have scenes. Uh, you're going to get characters um, that are actually broken down by categories. Okay, so you can upload your own um, sketches into Doodly as well uh, and animate them. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, but you have, you know, business, um, casual, you know, and trendy. Um, you can also search for these. Um, by their names okay so we have Steve um, Steve is is one of the characters in here so it'll just basically give you all the Steve uh, poses that 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 uh, that you get with the uh, with the software now you'll see the little pro um, icon there so I am using the pro version of uh, doodly now I uh, will just talk a just touch basic uh, touch a little bit on the different um, plans that he has so there's a personal uh, which is unlimited use uh, it just comes with less characters and less props uh, there's also a pro version, which gives you about four times the amount of, um, you know, of props. I think you get 200 uh, props in the personal edition and like 1,100 or something like that in pro. Uh, and you also get uh, more characters and more character poses for each of those characters with the, with the pro version. Uh, now, there's also an enterprise package, which basically allows you to use Doodly on, you know, unlimited client, uh, you know, non-personal commercial sites. And including that option to sell the videos, um, you know, for profit uh, and client use. Okay, so I'm looking at the uh, you're looking at the pro version, uh, and and all that really means is I just have more characters and props uh, to choose from. Okay, now for each of these characters and props, you can you know, like I said, you can add your own. Uh, you just simply um, uh, hit that button, and you can browse, and it basically accepts uh, PNG files, um, which then you can later animate yourself. Uh, now you can also do the same with text. Um, I think one of the downfalls here, and, I, and I'm, I'm sure you know in the future they're going to be adding more, uh, but these are the only fonts that are available at this point. You can add your own font, uh, which is a TFF file. Um, so if you have a collection of fonts on your computer, you can upload those and use those uh, in Doodly as well. Um, so that's that's pretty handy. Uh, and sounds, same same uh, deal there. Now we have some categories of sounds. You have uh, you know music, effects, um, you know logos. Um, so uh, there's different areas or, or different things there, and you can of course upload your own sounds as well. Now uh, I believe this is uh, MP3 files is what it takes, um, so you can you can go ahead and upload your own there. Uh, what you're also going to see is this is pretty much your timeline. Um, so this is a scene. If I were to hit the plus button, that would be my second scene, and you could just switch back and forth between them. And this is also your audio um, your audio track here. Okay. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and actually add, let's see, let's put Steve cross-armed here. 
and just quickly show you. Uh, if you see, when you click on them, you can rotate him. Um, you can flip it one side or the other, um, you know, or remove it. So let's just quickly do a preview just to show you what this looks like. Okay. All right, there's Steve. Okay, and he and he went away because I have two scenes in my uh, in my movie so far. Okay. Now, what you can do, uh, and actually, let me drag a prop on here as well and kind of show you. Uh, let's see. Let's just use. Uh, okay, Steve likes Facebook. All right, so we'll throw Facebook on there. Now, if you see over here, it's added this to my items list. Uh, and what you can do for each of the animations is set a delay, which means um, it will just take however long you set it for that to actually start animating, and the duration. So if I want it to take a little longer or a little shorter uh, for Steve to animate, you know, I can shrink that down or add it up if I'd like it to be a, a little bit slower. Okay, and you can do that for what, uh, each of the animations that you actually place on on your screen here. Okay. Now what we can also do is uh, let's just throw a, you know, I don't know, just a quick and a, uh, audio in there as well. Uh, with the audio, you can actually double click it and listen to it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's coming through on my on my speakers or not, or if you can hear that, but it is playing. Uh, you just double click to turn it off, um, or you can jump around in it as well. Okay. All right, so we'll leave that one on there. Um, and then we'll hop over to our second thing here. And I'm going to show you a scene because the scenes are pretty cool, the ones that they have uh, have created here. Um, so you just drag your, your scene. Now, what this is, is it is an entire scene, and this entire scene will animate. Uh, but you can actually remove pieces of this or flip them or do whatever you'd like to do. If you'd rather have the window on that side, you can do that. Um, so you can, you know, manipulate the scenes themselves. So really what a scene is, is a collection of props that's just already put together for you. Um, so you can go ahead and preview uh, Steve. Oh, actually, we got to get past Steve here in Facebook. And there's this. Okay, so it'll animate the entire, you know, the entire scene. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's see. What, uh, what, what should we show next? Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it. If you're going to notice here, I've got these three. These are three that I've actually imported uh, myself. So I have one that's that's color and one that's a, that's a nurse and then one that's a little bit more kind of filled in and just not the not the outline. Okay, so let's go back to our first one here and I'm going to remove this and get rid of Steve as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag, um, you know, drag my nurse on here. Okay. All right. So now what you can do is when you select something that you've imported yourself, you're going to see another little icon here and that's the edit icon. Um, now you get the same settings for any of those for delay and duration, but what you can do, uh, and I'm going to show you this first, but by preview, what it automatically does is it will automatically, automatically scribble the animation on like so. Okay. So you see, it's just literally scribbling. It's not really doing the outline, um, the way the other animations do, but you can create those, uh, those yourself. Okay. And once you've create one in, in one of your, um, in one of your movies, you can then use it for your other movies. You don't have to keep recreating it. It really just basically becomes part of, you know, your library. Okay. So you can continue to use those animations over and over again. Um, so we just hit edit. All right. Now what you're going to see is a little live preview. Uh, as you start to update this, you'll, you'll see that that will update as well to kind of show you where you are. Um, there's path sizes. You can zoom in and out of the animation if you just want to get closer to it, uh, make it a little bit easier. Um, there's the animation duration uh, as well, and then you're going to have your your paths, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new path here, um, and what I'll do is you know, kind of show that there. Um, so right now I have path one, okay? So what I'll do is I'll hit the plus button, and I'm going to go on here and start to animate. Now, you can make this as detailed as you want or have as many of these points as you see that I'm making here as you'd like, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create one here and just... Whoop, probably doing a bad job here, but uh, go ahead and hit that on there, on there, on there, on there, and then close that gap if you see my icon changed. Now what I can do is actually uh, increase that path size, okay? So you see, so whatever the red is there, that's what's what it's covering, that's what's going to reveal. Now you can certainly edit any of these as well, of, uh, of these paths. Um, you can take them and you know you can move, uh, move it around. I believe it's that one there. Uh, let's see here, I think if you hold control down, yeah, there you go. Um, and then you can kind of edit, you know edit these things and, and move it around in case you're not perfect with your with your animations. Um, so right now, um, so you can also again, like I said, set the duration of that and how you want it to draw. And it's actually doing it up here for me as well, so you can kind of see you know what's there. Um, so for this example here, I'm just going to um, save and return. Okay, so I have it in there, and I'll preview. 
and there she is okay so we drew her her hat and then the rest of it will appear okay so you have to make sure um, that you actually finish the animation or else it'll just you know it'll just show it'll just display the rest of of the animation that's there so just make sure you have paths on on, on any of them um, and what you can really do if you you know if you just wanted to kind of draw out some of it uh, let me blow, uh, zoom in a little bit here there we go um, is you could probably scribble the rest so if you want to go to path two and you can name these paths as well so if you just want to say um, you know hat can do that um, so path two you know if you just want to scribble the rest uh, you can basically kind of do it this way you would just hit one here hit one there hit one there whoops I missed the uh, missed the area there we go and just go back and forth back and forth back and forth and then increase your path size okay and you see how it's filling in so now that's gonna look a little strange but go ahead and preview it so it'll do that and then actually scribble it in. Now, of course, I'd be much more careful, and it'll take a little bit more time with my animations. But for demo purposes, I think you you kind of get the idea. And the thing I really like is that it saves those animations from movie to movie, and I don't have to keep recreating those because um, that can be that can be a real pain. Okay. Also, um, you can manipulate these um, delays and durations right on the timeline as well. Um, so you can kind of stretch them out, and if you notice, once you drop it, it stretched out my duration right there. Uh, for delays, obviously, you would set those manually. Um, so you can go ahead and drag, you know, drag things in uh, right on your timeline to, to, you know, to kind of make it easy if you just want to kind of eye it up rather than be very specific. Um, so once you have your animation and you're happy with it, uh, you just go ahead and export it, and it's basically going to save it as an MP4. Um, you have different resolutions that you can you can choose from. This is the one I really kind of recommend is the 720p, um, keeping the frames per second at the default 30, uh, and then you can have maximum, and then you just hit continue, and it's going to go ahead and, and render that. So what I'm going to do is just pause here for a second because it does take a couple of minutes for uh, for things to render, and it really depending on you know kind of how much you have on it. So it exported, it took about, I don't know, maybe 60 seconds uh, to do that. And we can show the exported file. It'll basically just open it up for you here. And you can double click it. And there we go. And there's my wonderful animation. All right. So as you see, uh, it's it's very, the thing I really like about it, it's just a lot easier to use um, than I think I've done a lot of the other ones that I've I've used. I love these sketch animations. They're very quick. You can get very creative and really they convert. I mean, people like fun things, fun, creative, you know, uh, you know, things to watch. Um, so, you know, I find them I, I find them extremely useful. Oh, and one last thing I wanted to kind of show you here is um, if you click the settings button, there's where you can do your your change <laughs> and it literally just changes the entire animation for you, uh, which I think is really slick. And I don't think I've seen a lot of the other um, sketch animation software that do that uh, they can allow you to change that on the fly like that um, you know it, it's the the animations are super tight you know they have these things all custom made um, so it, it works perfectly to flip back and forth uh, you know just by clicking simply simply clicking the button um, and you're gonna see here as well um, for audio uh, I forgot to mention this is you can have it end uh, both the animation and the audio end so basically once the animation is done uh, it will just stop the audio or you can just keep it when the animation ends itself okay so I wanted to wanted to kind of point that out um, okay uh, otherwise I think that's uh, that's about it. I mean you would expect in a software like this for it to be a really long drawn out you know here's how you use it because uh, there are a lot of them are they're very they're a little bit more complicated I love how easy this thing is you can do it very very quickly um, so I believe this is going to open on uh, let's see here I think it is let me make sure I have my dates right I think it's August 8th uh, let me take a look here. Yes, August 8th um, at 9 a.m. Um, so go ahead and I'll leave a link down below uh, that you can go ahead and click if you want to pick up a copy of this uh, during its launch week. Uh, I believe it's going to be a one-time cost of $67, um, which is pretty pretty good deal seeing most of uh, the animation software out there like this are a monthly charge. Um, so go ahead and pick up your copy.